So no dust, anything like that. You get a spare 10 minutes, dust it. Okay? What are you saying? No, they they could call a, a locker inspection yeah. at any time and they'll just go through your lockers. Um, what they did on Douglas was a couple of days before day 10, your day 10 inspection, they do inspections. Yeah. They'll give you, they'll, I don't know if they'll do the same here, but they'll like, give you tips and that of how to pass your day 10 basically. It's not difficult, it's just as long as you've got everything right. If it looks neat, then it generally will be. Yeah. If it looks good, it generally will be. Yeah. Uh, with regards to washing, uh, it's 24 hours for the military game, and 40 hours for city. No, it's 24 hours for everything. It's one day's worth. Military washing, hit back and military washing. Military washing, you'll do that night, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Apart from your PA kit, obviously you'll stick in that bag, and then you'll do that night. Will that be a bomb military or civil locker? Civil locker. All your dirty kit goes in civil locker. Only clean kit and press kit goes in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, will they ever check that our suitcase or the case you brought all our suitcase? They can do, yeah. Yeah, so make sure that's neat and tidy. You're allowed stuff in it, but make sure it's tidy. Yeah. Um, what bag do you use to put your stuff in? Just any bag you can for rubbing? Yeah, yeah, even if it's a plastic bag. Just yeah, as long yeah. as it's separate and you can, and can tie it up yeah. and they can see that it's totally different. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's nearing the end of day one and we've had somewhat of a, a tedious day. Spent the morning getting our vaccinations and the second half of the day getting kitted out and now I'm in these lovely uh, green coveralls. Uh, tonight spending most of our time writing out labels and sewing labels into all our socks, which is always fun. We've just had a chat from a, a guy that's been reflighted that's basically uh, laid the law down to us and how we need to forget our civilian lives and get on with it a bit and crack on. Uh, I can imagine tiredness will kick in in the next couple of days. We were up at 5.30 this morning and I doubt we'll get to bed before midnight. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. It's, it's tough, tough work, a lot of nitpicking, a lot of uh, learning small little details, but you can definitely tell you're in a military environment now and people are starting to uh, get annoyed with the process, but I imagine that's what it's there for. So, get on with it and uh, see what happens. Is it, is it on? No, wait, wait, I'm just doing, doing my stuff now. In, in a minute. He's <laughs> just starting it off for me because I've had a mare. <laughs> Can you not say? Yeah, yeah, hello, I've done this one, but I kept saying um, not to uh, let it end. Yeah, that's good, that. You're not enjoying the sewing? It's, not my strong point. <laughs> <laughs> Did you sign that one off for you? Yeah, he's just starting off because I have a nightmare getting it in. <laughs>